I was too busy looking at the stalks, sorry. Seatbelt, on button, and the launch control, I assume, I press and hold. Oh, but we need to figure out if it's got launch control. Okay, I won't be the first person to do it. <laughs> we'll find a straight bit of road and I'll try that somewhere. Yeah. It needs to be a very empty bit of road. Okay, so the start stop button, you told me, pulsing with the heartbeat that is Jaguar of a Jaguar ready to pounce. Now, the starting, uh, the, the kind of ignition pattern of it, it revs far more than you kind of expect it to. And you can't turn that off. So no. if you have neighbours... <laughs> they think that you're getting into a car every morning and going... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah. It sounds good, but I mean, it, it, it's quite fun to listen to. Noisy exhaust, you've got the noisy exhaust button. Okay. This is quite straightforward. The steering rack's quite sharp. It's quite uh, a fast little steering column. Very pointy and very nosy. I'm not going to become overwhelmed with the fact that we're on the main straight of the Australian Grand Prix. Though. Yeah, no, that's a very quick way to uh, yeah. a ticket of some kind. Is it a double clutch or a single clutch or an automatic? It is ZF. an automatic yeah. ZF 8 speed, single clutch. Yeah. When you're in sport mode, it really does turn the gearbox from a bit of a cruiser. It turns it into a gearbox that's properly responsive. Yeah. Got the farty gearbox. Farty. So you've probably figured it out. How do you make it pop? Because all the all the early videos of mm. the, the F types, you just see people drive past and lift off, go <laughs> like a popcorn machine. Yeah. How do you do it? Uh, so it's between. It's typically around the three and a half thousand mark. Mm. So you need to get up above three and a half thousand, and then you need to be letting off and letting it sort of. Um, Sort of coast back down a bit. Okay. And you want to be in dynamic mode to do that. Am as I well. in dynamic? I'm not in dynamic. You're so not in dynamic. Dynamic is down. Yeah. Oh, I'm in racing track mode now. All racing the, track the mode. The things have gone red because it's a little checkered flag. Oh, yes, yeah. These have all mode. gone red. And now what? That's, that's going to do what? I'm going to have faster gear changes. Yeah, you're going to be very toey on the throttle in first gear in dynamic mode. Okay, the mode. kind of first 20% of the throttle now feels like it's giving you 50% of the right. throttle before. So it's very sensitive. Very toey in dynamic mode. Gear changes feel about the same. But you're right, it's it's now the sneeze factor of the throttle that's gone. You know, yeah. Or well, you go over a speed bump or you sneeze or something. That little jolt, there you go. little hit will just now... Okay, there's there the you pops. Go. There's your snap crackling pop. Oh, someone went right down to first. <laughs> I did go down to first. Do you not go down to first in your car? Uh, I find first is quite aggressive. It yeah. starts by default in second. I'm finding that in the Aston, which is my favourite sentence, it's <laughs> quite hard to enjoy the gearbox of the car if you just leave it in D or if you change gears normally. Because by the time you max it in second, you're doing about 100. You're very illegal. So you need to... Oh, you've got the paddles on the steering wheel. Mm. Ah, yours fixed to the column. Fixed to the column. Mm. I, I prefer fixed to the column rather than to the wheel. I feel like this is one of those sort of car things that there's no right or wrong answer. Well, let's be honest, whatever Tiff Nadell prefers. <laughs> really? Yeah. The amazing thing I've noticed is that the noise that this car makes it's all exhaust. Mm. You don't hear the engine. You know, I, all I can hear is something in You the can back. only hear the noise coming from behind it you. It sounds, if, if you put me in this car, kind of blindfolded me before mm. I got in, I think it's rear or mid engine. Not I think with, that's without a driving thing it. to do, to be honest. Yeah. Particularly if you were driving. <laughs> It'd be a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah. But the cabin, the layout, the exhaust noise and everything, it feels very much kind of mid engine. It's only when you start to drive it that you realize, oh no, the back end's quite dense. Yeah, and, that's right. Uh, so there's not too much weight over the rear. He's having a look. He's spotted that it's blue. Yep. She doesn't care. She does not care. Can I make a comment all? as well? It's kind of a thing that I feel like I've been kind of hard done by with growing up. Mm. I always grew up under the illusion that when you get a nice car, girls will look at you and they will <laughs> like where you're going. you because of the car. Yeah. And there hasn't been a single girl I've met that's given a shit about anything that I've been driving. Nope. All the attention that I've been getting is from older guys yep. who will just kind of look at it and have conversations with you at petrol stations. Yep. It's kind of, a, oh, what is that? Yep. And you have to chat with them. So, 
you know. <laughs> you think it's going to attract the blondes and the brunettes, it just attracts the salt and pepper. Yeah, that's all that's you all get. You get. Yeah. So, uh, if you're a teenager aspiring to owning a sports car... Yeah, uh, it's a mess. <laughs> it doesn't help. Don't get a car, get a puppy. That's my, actually, I guess consumer advice goes. That's the best bit you've had so far. Mm. Not quite a tunnel, but enough for me to think it's a tunnel. But it doesn't feel big. Like, even when I look through the mirrors, I'm not looking at giant arches. It's... It, it's not an intimidating size. I'm not worried about curbing anything or swiping something with a giant hip. Oh, they're looking. So I just, I just made eye contact with him. That's the problem. <laughs> mm. You have to sit and stare dead ahead. I know. Or, you know, if you're sitting in traffic, you have to suddenly pretend you're very interested in what's on the sat nav. I know. Just and occupy yourself <laughs> with, oh yes, I'll program that. Have you perfected your I'm not paying attention to you, you're paying attention to me face or just. That's it's a really <laughs> important skill with a car like this. It's good fun. It's just a fun, carriageable, happy car. Oh my god, for a six cylinder. Oh, it's, like, just, it's just got really bags does. of character, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah, but now you just tootle along. Yeah, dead easy. You can put the spoiler up if you want. Ooh, I can see that. Yep, so now you get to read the word Jaguar upside do. down in your rear vision mirror. Oh, I can too. <laughs> Yeah, you don't use first to. So it's ah. just you start in second. You start go in second. second. There is one thing I really miss about the Merc, mind you. What? Merc have got this really, really well refined um, single stalk indicating wipers, lights. Okay. Whereas Jag have gone back to having two separate stalks, yeah, indicating in lights and then a whole other one for wipers. I was too busy looking at the stalks. Sorry. James, look! What? There's another car that's your colour. Ah, it's a Focus RS! Ooh! In very blue. Ultra blue. That's what we're up to for the rest of today. Might make bagels. You can make bagels? You can make bagels. Apparently it's quite easy. How do you do it? Uh, dough. Yeah. And then you boil them for a few minutes, and then you bake them in the oven. Is the boiling the part that makes it a bagel, bagel and not bread? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's dancy, but it's not unmanageable. No, it's it, not. It doesn't it? snap into oversteer. No, it just sort of gives you a little bit of a yeah, a skid around, doesn't it? Yeah. It just lets you know that it's rear wheel drive. Yeah. It's good because it kind of tucks the car around. Just purrs. It is. Really purrs. Thank you for letting me spank your car without telling You've me off. You've properly spanked it. Yeah. 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 I'm very, I, I really like it. I, it's nice, I, isn't it? It's such an adventure every mm. single day. Why the hell not? One yeah, more exactly. time. <laughs> oh, not bad. You can't do that in a Tesla. No, you can't. <laughs> He did that. He did not need to downshift. He did that, that just for you. Yeah. He did downshift just for you. <laughs> Try not to crash into anyone. Try not to hit any people. Try not, not to break. break my front splitter off. Lovely. Well, I might get a bagel, not to kind of ruin any of your excitement. Do that. We'll do that. Fa really fantastic kind of. Yeah, there you go. You're right. Computer things, aren't they, on, on these yeah. Jaguars? Oh, what am I doing? Buttons. P. P. Oh. No, you don't oh, need the to do that. Does the engine work. just come off? If well, I yeah. just let go of the engine brake, that will just come off now? Yeah. There we go. Park brakes on. Lovely. So you set. Thank you for watching Ash Davies on Cars. This has been the Jaguar F Type R Dynamic with the V6 Supercharged 280 kilowatt in blue. Please hit subscribe. Do you want to press the GoPro?